Hey guys, welcome back to Red Dead 2. Today we're continuing in chapter 6 and I'm going to start the video by continuing Hamish's mission. I'm going to go ahead and talk to him. The door's open. Hamish! Arthur! Well, come in. You said we might go out fishing. Don't take much persuading to get me to go fishing. <laughs> Let's go to my boat. Good. Here she is. You mind what rolling? a nice sure. place. He's right next to it. What are we it. fishing for? Yeah. Only one thing worth catching in this lake. The great tyrant. Oh. <laughs> mean as hell, Northern Pike. Uh. Eats everything else that spawns around here, its own kind included. Well, is that our bait then? A jack or something? Hell no. He's a clever old bastard. <laughs> I made these. This one's mine. You're gonna have to spare. They are pretty. You don't know the half of it. <laughs> Come on, let's push off. I'll show you where we're rowing to. I've actually, I went fishing one time. Well, actually a couple times. There was a little lake close to where I lived when I was little. And my dad would take my brother and I fishing. Not on a boat. Like, we just sit on the edge of the lake. It was more of like a pond. It wasn't really a lake. You got that lure I gave you? Get her out. But it was fun. I I enjoyed it. Hey, you need Come on now, Tyron, I got you. Oh, uh oh. I got you. Come on. Uh oh. Ah, went on slack. Went on slack. Come back. No, oh, it's a drop back. Uh, Amish. Oh. Amish. <laughs> that man. How did he get all the Tyron, way over there? I'm throwing out to you. Jesus. I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> Hell no, I'll be done after that. Hey. Come on up here. Come on. You lost anything? It's just my rod. Damn. <laughs> Would have gotten my toes too. They weren't wooden. You want another go at him? I still got my lure. Nah. He's your fish now. Cast away. I see Get something swimming. Out. Come on. Yes. I think I hooked him. Real. Let's land the bastard. I forgot how to fish. Correctly. Oh, he's so close. Oh, this bastard is mine. Yes! Uh, yes! Go. Oh my god. That's an ugly fish. Sorry for you caught him. Let's row back. We got what we came for, right? <laughs> it took forever. Pass me the tyrant. That is if you're sure you don't want him. Oh, I ain't gonna poach from your pond. <sighs> Uh, I'll give him his honors then. He sure was something, huh? <laughs> he was. <clears throat> Thanks for taking me out. I appreciate the company. <sighs> That's one hell of a fish. Ain't he something? <laughs> so long. Hey, you ever want to go out hunting? You stop by again. I may. Yeah, that was a fun time with Hamish. I'm about to end Calm's whole career, bitch. Don't you worry ahead. about me. There you are. Here I am. Come on, let's go. Let's go where? And why are you so riled up? Today is a great day, Arthur. Today is the day they are going to hang Como Driscoll. That's so. Rather they hang him or I shoot him. Oh, they are gonna hang him. Yeah, and not before time. That boy's been on the gallows no. more than most. I wouldn't count anything until his neck's broke. Well, nor would I. 
Which is why, despite us being wanted men, we're gonna attend the event ourselves. And follow him on to the scaffold? Well, let's hope not. But if I could see that son of a bitch breathe his last, I think I'd die a happy man. We are gonna disguise ourselves. In this? In this. Arthur just loves playing dress up. <laughs> okay. Come on. Well, I know Sadie loves that. <laughs> All right. Good. Now, you see that pair of assholes? Sure. They're Combs boys. Yes, I think so. What a surprise. I'm glad we're here. Uh oh. Point what are they pointing at? I don't know. We gotta follow them and find out. Yeah. Oh, here comes somebody. <clears throat> Stay here. Don't do nothing. <laughs> don't do nothing. What's it look like? A bunch of cops. Well, how many? Enough. They're planning. So what do you think? Paul's up on the roof. Once he starts shooting, we have to have our wits about us and move fast. Yeah, I guess we faced worse than this before. Sure. Hmm. Yeah. So, they got a guy up on the roof overlooking the gallows. Find a way up there, onto one of these verandas, through a building maybe, and get him. And do it silently. Silently, got it. Well, obviously, I'm going to do it silently. I want to see this bastard swing. <laughs> Don't we all? Oh, Arthur. Here's a ladder. I'm one step ahead of you, Dutch. He says it while I'm climbing up the ladder. <laughs> Where's this man? Oh, I see What's a gun. Gun case. Caught ambush. Nope. Nope. No. Quit. Shank. Shank him. Yes. Stab him. Yes. Yes. Damn, he got some licks on me though. Jesus. Oh, there he is. He has murdered, tortured, robbed, Jesus. stolen, raped, and abused for a decade across five states, seemingly with impunity. Today, justice catches up with him. <laughs> As well you may. I've been a bad man. Silence! These charges. This is not a court <laughs> where you shall be tried. This is a place where your sentence is to be carried out. And your Damn sentence, Colmo Driscoll, is that you are to be hanged by the neck until you are dead. Oh. This is not a uh -oh. It is not a test. Uh oh, oh no. He's scared you now. Must carry out. If our civilization is to prosper, gentlemen, are we ready? Wow, he call Modrisco. You can just see it on his face. May God, he knows he's fucked. In his infinite wisdom, <laughs> have mercy upon your soul. Whenever you are ready. <laughs> Now you know how it feels to watch somebody you love die. You ruined my life! Okay, oh. <laughs> Sadie! Oh god, I gotta be sniping. Oh lord. Oh lord. Y'all really want to meet up here? I mean, y'all know who I am. My horse shit ain't. Ooh, I got him right in the head though. Say so, don't move. Yes. Okay, duck. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got y'all. Don't worry. Get this bitch. Oh, he's dead. No, he ain't dead. I thought you were dead. I ain't gonna get him. 
Nope. Nope. Right in the butt. Nope. Well, we got him. Let's just get out of here. Go. Okay. All things considered, that could have gone a lot worse. <laughs> How you get on, Arthur? Well, we saw the bastard hang okay, but no thing ain't gonna save us. I guess that's one less thing to worry about. I guess compared to the entire government, in the end, Como Driscoll didn't seem like such a worry. A letter came for you. Oh, okay. I know it's from that Mary. Mary? She ain't worth it, Arthur. Who is? Oh, my dear Arthur, you never showed up. And now, after looking at the newspapers, I understand why I enclose a ring you gave me many years ago when we were both young. Not because I don't like it, but because I care for it far too much and it reminds me too much of you. I hope one day you will find some people in love who can use this. For it kept me thinking of you all these years. And I hope by returning it to you, I can finally be free. Donna and Abigail. Goodbye, Mary. Oh, my heart. My poor little heart. Oh, look at her. Hey, she's trying at least. Oh, hey there. How you feeling, ma'am? Much better than I've felt in a long time. I, if we hadn't caught that rabbit, I don't think I'd have made it another day. Well, you look better. Better and determined, thanks to you. And if I'm gonna learn to hunt, I figured it was time I learned how to use Cal's gun properly. Well, how's that working out for you? Well, let's just say <laughs> my prey is looking decidedly unscathed. But the end of labor is to gain leisure. Is that not what Aristotle said? Well, I, I don't know much about Aristotle, but um, well, I know a thing or two about shooting a gun. Look, you gotta hold steady and firm. Hmm? You just focus, breathe slowly, and always pull the trigger on empty lungs. You get her some gun oil. Here. And less dirt. I'll show you. <laughs> okay. Calm and steady. Don't snatch at the trigger. You make it look so easy. <laughs> I've been doing it a while. <laughs> you try now. Remember to breathe. Wait to breathe out. Wait to breathe out. There you Would go. You Get it somewhere. <laughs> Not bad. Focus on the inhale. Shoot on the exhale. My turn. I'll shoot a few more this time. Oh no, that wretched rat is back. Over there. I saw it, but I don't know where it's it went. Been a thorn on my side ever since we moved here. Kill it, please. Ah, oh, got away. I told you it was fast. Oh, I didn't even get a chance. What? Come on, come on. Hey! There we go. I hit it, didn't I? What can I say? Thank you. I still have some of the rabbit left that I salted up. Would you join me for a meal? It's the least I can do. Bon appetit. Huh? Please enjoy. And thank you again for everything. <laughs> I really am grateful. Uh, it was nice. Uh. <laughs> You're a good man. Well, you don't really know me. I know enough. There's always more to find in ourselves. You helped me to see that. 
My husband, Cal, was such an optimist. I found that to be very contagious. But there's a fine line between optimism and naivete. And we were both born with a silver spoon. Banquets, butlers, valets. <coughs> Sounds terrible. It was just so many people, so many things. I was lost in it. I was crushed by it. My father was very overbearing. Then we came out here, and I got crushed by this. You know, I pictured myself picking fresh vegetables, sipping homemade wine, writing a great novel. But I turned out to be a far more pathetic anti-heroine than any I could ever pen. Oh, well. <coughs> I reckon you're going to be just fine. <coughs> Are you all right? Can I get you some water? No, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I just, um... <coughs> yeah, thank you for this. <coughs> I think it's it's best if I if I make. <coughs> Stay right there. It's it's gonna be okay. Jesus. If I was her, I would be panic attack. Oh my god, I would be so. Ugh. Full blown panic attack. <laughs> My dear Arthur, I have gone out hunting. Not a phrase I thought any pen of mine would ever ink, but nonetheless one I am very proud to finally be able to write. I am so very grateful to you for all the help and encouragement you've given me. There is some money in a box on the nightstand. Please take it. I have far more than I need back in the city, and I'd like you to have it. Please take care, and remain true to the man I know you are. Oh, She's so sweet. But we don't take her money. We're just happy to help. Hello? Come in. <coughs> you don't sound very well. I'm not. I'm, I think I'm dying. And I hope you find peace. I don't know too much about peace. Apparently not. Did you have fun with my son, the impetuous prince? I believe you went on a raid with him. Um, uh, I'm sorry. I suppose I lack the grandeur of a conventional king. I don't know too many kings. <laughs> Colonel Favors. He has already exacted some measure of revenge for the raid. Two women were assaulted by his men. Uh, very sorry about all of this. Yes. Sometimes the correct path, the bravest path, is the least obvious and also the gentlest. I'm... I'm a great disappointment to my son. Your son seems to want a war. My son thinks there is glory in death. Maybe he's right, but for me... I saw death being handed out so freely by the most foolish of men, I never could equate it with victory. Glory has come in service. Maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. I've killed a lot of people. For a whole lot of dumb reasons, and I ain't never seen much glory in it. Well, your friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, he talks a lot. That he does. I don't know him. But my son is easily lit. I'm not sure I get you. Uh, well, perhaps we could go for a ride. I'm an old man. My whole life I have tried to bring peace. But uh, I ain't doing so good. Then maybe you can take pity on my plight. Please, it won't take long. <coughs> and maybe I can help you with that cough. Sir! Hmm. I'm glad I caught you, sir. 
Captain Monroe, do you know my friend, Mr. Morgan? No, sir. I don't have the pleasure. Arthur Morgan. It's an honor, sir. How can I help you, Captain? I was just in San Denis. I spoke with the mayor. It's not good news, I'm afraid. May I ride with you for a little? Of course. Follow me. So where are we going? He's such a pretty horse. I want to show you a site up in the mountains that's long been sacred to me. A place for reflection and healing. You know, I had a son once, years ago. Don't talk about him much. Oh, what was his name? Isaac. His mother, Eliza, the waitress I met. When she got pregnant, she, she knew who I was, what my life was. I didn't want to promise nothing I couldn't keep, but I said I'd do right by them. Every few months, I'd stop by there for a few days. He was such a good kid. She was too, I guess. <laughs> Just a kid, 19. What happened? I got there one day and saw two crosses outside. I knew right away. It turned out some bastards had come through. Robbed him and shot him dead. And offered ten dollars. Hardened me. Feeling that kind so of pain. So sad. But I know now that you don't get to live a bad life and have good things happen to you. I think you're being. Wait, stop here. I want to pick some ginseng. We can talk more about this later. I love the memes about Arthur talking about his son and then <laughs> being abruptly stopped by Rain's fault talking about fingers of ginseng. <laughs> this will combine well. <laughs> the it's like Arthur being like raw and actually talking about something he doesn't talk about a lot for once. <laughs> Interrupted. Right there. I'll put these in your saddlebag. <laughs> for some damn plans. <laughs> It tastes awful. At least he's helping me, though. It'll help to keep your strength up. What's happened? No! It can't be. No! They destroyed everything! No, I need to find the Chinupa. Who... Who would do this? Someone who wanted to enrage you. Help me look around. Please. The Chinupa is gone. Alright, what we got over here? What is it? A uh, ceremonial pipe. There must be some clues to it. I found a here. flask. An army flask. There's some whiskey here. An empty bottle of whiskey. Well, it's all over the place. All that, they couldn't have gotten too far. Yeah, well, still no sign of the Chinupa. Quick, Mr. Morgan. There's someone down there. Do oh. you have any binoculars? What got going on over here? Oh, there they are. These brave oh. men. Some of Colonel Favor's men. They must have been the ones who did this. You Ta surprised this happened? Not at all. They but definitely look some kind of drawing, I'll say that. I hope we were past this. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go in, get your chin up, I no one will be any the wiser. Would you do that? Well, you can't go, they know why you'd come. Please see if they have our sacred items. But try not to hurt anyone. I'll try try not. Sure that they never even know I'm there, but actions don't always what? go the way you plan. <laughs> what the hell was that? I just like 360'd. No. France is near. She's near France. Well, it's in France. France is near France. Oh, we got we got an Einstein over here. <laughs> this man is stuck. Look at this moron!
Oh my god, hurry up before he turns around. Here. I, uh, I got your things, I, I think. Yes. Thank you. I'm very sorry about this. Even sacred things are only things. People, the heart, matter more. Was anyone hurt? No one was killed. Well done. Well done. I wish my son knew such restraint. My people owe you a great debt, and I'm giving you very little. But please, take this. We believe it to be sacred. Thank you. Thank you. Take those herbs I gave you, please. And most of all, I hope you can find peace within yourself. Oh. Captain Monroe. Of course. Chief's going out trying to find medications. It's quite a business. Yes. Thought we were through with all of this. Well, we are, mostly. Colonel Favors seems to think the natives have broken some promise they never made, and apparently he's punishing them by withholding vaccines sent down by the federal government. Really? I was supposed to oversee the administration of vaccines. Now I hear the wagon's been diverted. Why would he do such a thing? Uh, to be honest, I truly don't know. They say he didn't have a very good war, so maybe he's trying to start another one. Is that what you think? I'm trying to find out, and he knows I'm trying to find out. He'd love to provoke me almost as much as he'd love to provoke these poor bastards. Meaning? <sighs> Meaning that despite the fact that I think he's a horse's ass, he knows I think that. So we're just stuck here trying to make the best of things. This is the best of things. Children. Kind of diseases. No. This is awful. Where is this wagon? Where can we find it? I can show you. It's supposed to be heading to a pediatric coming up through Valentine, but it's been diverted south instead. Come on, Captain Monroe. Uh, Mr. Morgan, we must act with due caution. Oh, we shall. We surely shall. Now come. Okay. We're gonna find this wagon. I think I know a spot where we should be able to intercept it. Lead the way, Captain. The wagon should come along this way. Okay. You're a good man, Mr. Morgan, but I fear this task to be a fool's errand. Well, firstly, I'm a long way from a good man. Secondly, fool's errands are my favorite kind of work. Fair enough. In that case, I can see we shall be great friends. <laughs> May I ask you a question? Of course. Why don't you just tell all the folk up in Washington what kind of an idiot Colonel Favors is and save us all of a lot of bother. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the government doesn't work quite like that. If you say so. There. I think that's the wagon. All right. Get yourself out of here. Just remember to keep it clean. Understand me? Don't worry. I'm as clean as they come. Now, all I do is clean. Well, good luck. I'll meet you back at the reservation. Try not to get yourself killed, Mr. Morgan. No, no. I, I can't promise. <laughs> We're gonna try. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes, no! Don't jump out! Oh my god. Nothing to see back here. Nothing to see back here. Fuck out of here. They didn't suspect a thing. I told them I'd do it clean and I did. Captain Monroe, I got the medicine. Oh, wonderful. That's great news, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, well, don't worry. It, uh, it didn't go too bad. Oh, I'll have to take your word for that. We could both swing for this. <laughs> yeah, well, I think I'm a little past caring about hanging, Monroe. Maybe. I just hope Colonel Favors thinks he was robbed by bandits and not... Oh, no, I'm still a bandit. There ain't no doubt about that. Of course. Well, I better get to work. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Bandit or not, this was a good thing. 
Maybe it'll get us both killed, but it had to be done. I hope so. Okay, guys, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.